All right, Juan, your first title defense coming up uh, this week. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Uh, just getting down on weight. Feeling good. Uh, excited for this fight. There's no doubt about it. Long time coming, too. It sounded like you guys were going to probably fight it January, February was the plan last year. And, you know, here we are in May. Were you okay with that with the extra time off, or was it tough to, to have such a long layoff? No, man, yeah, it's definitely tough because, you know, we're bulls locked up, <laughs> ready to go out there in the ring, you know. So uh, it's definitely tough to not fight for a while. Yeah. And you, I mean, the, the plus side is you've had plenty of time to study him and break him down. What do you, what do you think of Sergio as an opponent? What are you expecting to see out of him? Yeah, definitely one of my best competitors to date. You know, uh, just his accolades speak for itself. You know, the beating some of my teammates going through, and you know, being a prodigy of Duke Rufus and his little brother, or his big brother, Showtime Pettis. So it's like I got a task at hand, and uh, I'm excited for it because it's going to be a good journey to get there. How did this camp work? Because I know uh, a couple of your close teammates, all you guys all had fights at the, around the same time. Cub and, and TJ was supposed to fight this weekend. Was that, yeah. a, was that a benefit, did you feel, that you guys were all kind of going through the, the process together like that? Yeah, that's something that uh, fans don't really get to see. You know, They don't get to know that, like, oh, they, they all have fights coming up. That's cool. Well, it really isn't for us because you got guys that are always fighting for position, mm -hmm. like trying to feel their best that they could feel going into a fight. And sometimes... Uh, it's hard to give up those positions for the guy knowing you don't want to add added chaos, right? So, because, you know, you got two guys trying to peak at the same time, or actually four guys. You got Brian Ortega, Cub Swanson, TJ Dillashaw, myself uh, fighting. Two of those fights drop out. Two of us are going through. And so it's very hard to fight when you have teammates fighting because just for the simple fact, you're both trying to peak for the right time. So you got to kind of pull away and like hope your roads on training recross path at certain times so you could you know give feedback to each other still know the game plan you're doing because we're still going to be there for one another without a doubt like my whole plan was to fight this fight and to fly right back for tj you know so um but now he's out here with me so it's a good benefit that i got to have it was like a blessing in disguise for me so yeah that's how it is that's what it's like having training partners fighting so close back to back especially you guys that train together all the time yeah and the people you just named because uh, you, you're helping out with the ultimate fighter too right yeah so yeah. how has that been like have you been very active with that even though you're going through camp and, and everything like that after cubs fight i got to go down and on sunday and get uh you know some coaching and like get to visit the guys we have a guy on there too so it's like another fifth guy that uh was is going to be fighting on the ultimate fighter so it's like you get to go train with him too but at the same time, again, he's coming up with a you know possible fight coming up, and then you're just like, man, like we can't really train too hard because we're both uh, have a possibility of a fight coming up, and then you're just like, so it's crazy, man. It's it's all it's awesome, but it's crazy yeah. and fun at the same time. Do you feel like it's a good experience for you to, to go through as well that you kind of learn some stuff, having to teach? You know, I'm sure you do it on a regular yeah, basis anyway. Yeah, absolutely. But, I mean, yeah. I never, I give myself a week at the max out, out after fights to like kind of take a deep breath, but being if you take too long off, you stop evolving too. So the the, the sport's so fast growing; it's it's such a big deal now. Like everyone's into it, and they're always you're everyone's just, you know you got a target to paint on your back. You got to make that that sprint as long as you can uh, for before someone catches you. So you got to jump right back in and help others out. For sure. And, and focusing back on Friday's card, it's like a bantamweight showcase. There's yeah. a lot of contenders in your division. Um, do you like that kind of? Quite frankly, your next opponent, if you if you go out there and beat Sergio, could be on this card with you. Possibly, yeah. yeah. You know, some some of the guys got dropped out, and um, some of the guys you're looking forward to still hoping they you could get a fight with or Gucci. You know, and it's just like big names like that that are, you know, I feel like I deserve capitalizing. I've taken my time. I've done the groundwork of fighting guys like Momega Medoff and like Rufion Stouts and Josh Hill and, and and these guys. Like, yeah, they're building their names too, but. You know, a guy like Sergio, uh, of course he deserves a title uh, title fight. He's been, people are like, oh, yeah, it's two fights. It's like, dude, he's fought since he was 18 years old. The guy has experience. He's put his time in, like, 22 and, what, four or five? So, like, dude, those are a lot of fights. Obviously, Josh Hill has a lot of fights, too, and so does Mega Medoff. But big show-wise and, like, experience-wise, like, that's what I'm here for now. Like, I'm the champ. I get to choose the big fights that I'm deserved. Yeah, and you mentioned Horiguchi's name, which I know is a fight you've, you've wanted mm -hmm. for quite some time. Has there been any progress on Bellator's end? Have you talked to them at all about him? I know he's not in the... Well, we were supposed to fight in, in New Year's, and then it got right. pushed back to March, and then finally Scott Cook was like, dude, we're going with Pettis. I was like, let's do it. I need a fight. Oh, so, so you were supposed to fight him, like, in the last couple months. Yeah, yeah, and they kept playing games, so who knows what's going on with them in reality, but, you know, hopefully that's our next fight. We're still pushing for the fight. Granted, I do my job Friday night. Yeah, I think a lot of people obviously would, would love that. And uh, yeah. when you play it out in your head on Friday, I mean, how do you see it getting going down with Sergio and how do you get it done in there yeah you know you know me like 
of course people call me a decision master but why be robbed of 25 minutes like i don't care you could call it whatever you want i want to make sure all my martial arts are on point you know so uh i'm going in there to try to make someone not answer the bell that's my goal not to knock someone out not to finish someone if it happens don't get me wrong that's awesome if a punch lands that uh combination i was meant to throw in, lands it's perfect and it ends or a submission it appears and i could get it awesome well done but also like I want 25 minutes. I trained my ass off since November to be in this position to deserve 25 minutes of like <laughs> martial arts. So that's what I inspire to do every day. And like, there's no telling when I'm gonna fight again, right? There's COVID and you never know. So to be robbed that is, you know, it's not gonna happen. Makes sense to me, man. Well, I wish yeah. you the best of luck on I Friday and appreciate it. the time, man. Yeah, thank you.